will we get back together? Will we, do we have a future together? Will we end up together in the future? All of those things is what I'm going to ask the cards. So welcome back to Hope to Have a Daily. My name is Angie. I'm a tarot card reader from England. This tarot card reading is between you, the universe and intuition. And it's up to you if you claim it or not. It is timeless, so it's relevant from the moment you come into contact with it. Um, so yeah, I hope you're doing well. Happy Monday, new start, new week. I'm going to split the deck into four, four elements, four seasons, most importantly for angels, offering us a circle of protection so we can give and receive all of these messages with an open heart and an open mind. So a little fun fact, I wake up Sunday night, went to bed at 9pm. Woke up at 6 a.m. Started work at 7 a.m. Thought, yay, I'm better, I'm recovered. Let's catch up, let's get all my work done. 10 a.m., I'm like, oh, just gonna go to bed for an hour because I weren't feeling great. Woke up at 6 p.m., I've accidentally slept all day. It's now about seven, I think. So I'm not better. How can I not be better? This is ridiculous. I wanna be better now. So. Yeah, there's that. I hope you're doing better than me. I think what I'm going to do is while I'm awake, work, and then sleep while I'm asleep when I need to sleep. So down this side is you. Down this side is your person. Down the middle is your connecting energy. I really thought, it's Monday, I'm better. I'll get so much done today. No. The universe is like, go back to sleep, get back to bed. So we have the two of ones reversed for you in the recent past, which is partnership problems. It's thinking about all of the plans that you both made, um, realising that, oh, we're not doing the things that we said we were going to do. They've got the lover's card, which is, it's like, they've still got the hots for you in the recent past. But I think you were coming to the realisation that, Maybe you weren't necessarily on the same page. We have the eight of ones reversed. So it may have been that when you were communicating or in each other's company, it was going the way that they wanted and you were wanting to make plans for the future or you were wanting to clarify that the plans for the future that you both made were still on the table. But it feels like all they wanted to put on the table was you <laughs> in the most naughtiest way. Um, that's the message that's come through. So they have the hots for you, but I think you want that more concrete. I want to know, are they part of my future or not? Am I just wasting my time? Because there's a nice connection here. There is a nice connection here. It's very hot and passionate and lots of desire. But I think you want something more than just that. Or you want to know, you know, is this person wasting my time or not? So the seven of cups at the moment for you so you are considering your options you are considering is this person part of my future if they're not part of my future what is my future what does it look like but there's a moment of confusion for you this is getting them frustrated with the two of swords reversed um they've got inner conflict disharmony um i don't think you're necessarily making things easy for them you're not letting them just put you on the table you want something on the table between the both of you of this is where we're going and this is what we're doing and they may be getting a bit frustrated by that um which let them get frustrated you know what you want from this connection and don't settle for anything less than what you want and if they can't give you what you want and you have to decide where do you go from here um so we've got the nine of wands between you both which is one step up from the eight of wands so there's a bit of a barrier here there's a bit of a coming through things there's um it's almost feeling like is this at the end of the road or is it not i do think you're feeling is this just over? Is it over? Is it nearly over? Maybe they're feeling that you're going to walk away from them. Um, I don't think you're both in complete disconnect. I think you're both still in each other's orbit, either physically communicating or each other's energy in some kind of way. Um, yeah, there needs to be... Someone needs to be flexible. It needs to be them, I think. 
so this is going to cause problems going in so we've got this at the moment and then the near future so the near future is anything from tomorrow anything from the next hour after any time after this reading so we've got the five of wands reversed for you which is those tiny little niggles that blow up into kind of escalate in into something a bit more serious i think you want something serious i think you're getting ready for a really serious kind of relationship and you want to know if this person's that or not and so all the tiny little things that they do that normally you would overlook or you think oh no that's fine or their little habits that they've got are winding you up it's just winding you up instead of you told so you know sometimes we're with someone and they have a really annoying habit and when we're feeling it when we're feeling it for them we're like oh they're so cute oh they're so cute but then when they start niggling at us or we're starting to you know want something more tangible and it's getting frustrating that cute little thing that they do suddenly becomes really annoying and you just want them to stop doing it and it it becomes unbearable and it's our reaction to it um it's our hormones i think so yeah there's that Ten of Pentacles reversed for them, which is this feeling of the plans that you both either made or that you were hoping for. I think they're on a different page to you at the moment of they don't want to guarantee that you're both going to be together in the future. Um, it feels like maybe they say things like, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I don't know what, where I'm what going to be in a year's time. It's very hard to make plans with someone with that kind of attitude. They may not be thinking long term. They may not be wanting long term just yet. Um, they may just be wanting to go with the flow. But I don't think that's enough for you. I think you need. Like you, you want a signed contract that is written in concrete that they can't get out of. Um, the Queen of Cups is going to be in between you both. So the energy between you both. The universe is going to be saying. Don't just rush off just yet. Don't just put this in the bin just yet. Um, just because at the moment they can't think long term, they don't know where they can't visualize where their life's going to be in a year's time, five years time, 20 years time. It's almost like they don't know what they want. So don't bin it just yet, just because they don't know what they want. Um, don't give up just yet. But I think, you know, you could be moving into that space of, I oh, just give up. Um, don't, not just yet. Don't be too, don't be too quick to do that i'm gonna do a quick celtic cross um if you want to support the channel put a like on a reading subscribe turn your notifications on um thank you for like bearing with me while i'm poorly i don't know what's wrong with me well i do know what's wrong with me i just want to be better i'm frustrated um i do do personal readings they're available from my website but book it later in the week um i've still got a bit of a list I was hoping to get the majority of it done today and then end up sleeping. Um, anyway. Yeah. So we're going to do a Celtic cross. And I want to see, I'm mainly looking at possible outcome, possible attainment. Because I want to know, do you both have a long-term future together or not? Because at the moment it feels like iffy, but the universe is like, give it a bit of a chance. Give it a bit of a chance. Um... Just because they can't answer your questions, it doesn't necessarily mean they don't want to be with you. It just means they can't, sometimes people can't visualise where they're going and what they're doing. They, life just kind of happens and they go along with that. Um, so we've got the Six of Swords. I don't do reversals in my Celtic Cross. This is being guided to a better future. And the first card's all about the situation. Are we moving to a better future together? And the Queen of Swords, are you going to cut them off? I think you've got to be quite clear about what you want. And I think you need to communicate in quite a clear way. Um, not emotionally. Not the Five of Wands reversed where we get drawn into petty little arguments that really don't really matter. It's taking a stance on this. Being quite clear. Saying, hey... This time next year, I would like to be here. Well, where do you want to be? Do you want to be there alongside me or not? The Six of um, Swords is travelling light into a better future, being guided into a better future. Um, and it's for this connection. 
you know, the star, also being guided towards a better future. And this is what's around you. This is probably why you're feeling restless. It's probably why you're feeling something needs to change. Um, are they going to come back in again? Is the world going to hit? Is the universe going to heal this? I think you both love each other. I do. Um, but I think you kind of feel that it's more, they have a one track mind and you want to know. You want the bricks and mortar of a relationship and they just want to get their hands on you in the nicest possible way. But that's not enough for you. You want more than that. Um, so we have the justice card balance coming in. Behind you both we have the strength card, willpower. You lead and then with kindness. Um, I think there's probably been plenty of times over the last however long where you've kept your mouth shut and when there have been tinny little things that were once cute, is now not cute. You've been keeping your mouth shut and biting your tongue and kind of maybe, you know, letting them have things in their way that they want things. Um, so we've got the two of cups coming as an opportunity. And it did come out reversed, but I don't read it as a reversal in my Celtic cross. The two of cups are two people on the same page going in the same direction, wanting the same thing. It did come out reversed, so it could mean either way. And it's that opportunity to come. It's that, do we love each other? If, you know, love can take us a long way, you know, but then we have to have, is love enough? to can they just say yeah of course I love you but then not do the things working towards something it feels like you need them to be working towards something with you as a couple and they see it as they mad fancy you they do mad fancy you they don't want you to go anywhere and there's a lot of inner conflict for them and it feels it feels like have you both actually had a proper discussion you know because in my head I see you looking at your phone and rolling your eyes at something that they say whether it's not that long ago you'd read that and you'd think oh my god that's so nice it'd make your heart sing but it feels like you're now rolling your eyes when when you read something or hear something that they say um so that's interesting. The Four of Pentacles, the secret question, are we building something solid together? The Four of Pentacles is all about comfort, working towards saving, all of the things, having that strong platform for the rest of everything, um, making, you need, making sure your needs are being met, the stability of the connection. The Seven of Wands is a timing on this, and it's standing your ground for what you want, really especially with the Queen of Swords energy, it's that if you know what you want, don't settle for anything else. But you need to check whether they want it as well, you know, having that courage, having the courage to actually sit down and talk about it. I do think once you're in the right headspace to sit down and actually talk to this person, if you can, if you're in communication with them, maybe you're not. It feels like you're in communication at the moment. It feels like your energies are connected in some way at the moment. So when you get the chance, maybe approach a subject. Possible attainment on this. The Page of Cups. Yeah. And possible outcome, the King of Pentacles. It feels like don't run away from this. Don't run away from it. Just because they can't visualize and it does feel like maybe they're the type of person that doesn't make plans that life just kind of happens and it doesn't mean they don't want to be with you it just means let's see where it goes let's see how how we flow together are you going to be together it feels like yeah you could but I think equally you could walk away from this I don't think they're going anywhere you know it doesn't feel like they're going anywhere. They're just not making any promises. They may be the type of person that's really frustrated. It's like, I can't make you any promises. I, all I can do is keep shoving up. The page of cups. Um, there's lots of butterfly feelings. There's lots of wonderful, happy, giddy, lovely, gorgeous feelings. But the page of cups can't 
make promises. Well, they can't. They can make a bucket load of promises, but they can't always see it through. But then we have the King of Pentacles, which is this stability between you both, this security between you both, and them stepping up. It's almost like they jump from this having a mad hots for you to offering you stability. But I think it's going to take you being the Queen of Queen of Swords, whether you're male or female, that clear communication of, yeah, I know you fancy me, but I'm only doing those things because I'm in a relationship with you. Maybe you need the security of a relationship, a, we're working towards something together. This is where we're going and this is what we're doing and we both have to want it. I feel very hopeful. I feel, don't run away from this. Give it a chance. Because I do think if you run away and shut the door on it, just because you're feeling confused, I think there's still time here to things play out. Don't waste a lifetime on this. But give it a bit of time and think, okay, I'm going to give it a week, six months, a year, two years, and see where they're going. Because it doesn't feel they're going anywhere just yet and I think this could really turn into something really good once you settle into the rhythm of each other it feels like that you know um yeah and uh, maybe you've got feelings for them quicker than what they got feelings for you but they've always had a mad crush on you they've always been mad hot for you you know they fancy you a lot um, and it feels like maybe it's playing a little bit of catch up with those feelings. They don't want to lose you. It's, they don't even think about losing you because they don't think that they will. But you want something more, so you need to tell them. I'm just going to start repeating things now. So I think that's the end of the reading. I genuinely hope the right person gets the right reading. If this reading was for you, let me know in the comments below. Put a purple heart in the comments. It helps with the algorithm. And it also shows other people that you made it to the end of the reading as well. I'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection so that your angels take you on your way. Send me some positive vibes because I want to get better. I want to feel better. I want to be raring to go. You know, I normally only sleep for six hours at a time and then I'm up like jumping bean again. But no, I'm awake for four hours and I'm flat out again. Like, this is just not normal for me at all. So if you'd like me to pull a card for you when I have my coffee, I don't think I'm going to be having coffee. If you want me to pull a card for you when I wait, make it to my comments, request pull a card in the comments. I'm more than happy to do that. I will see you soon.